Unit 13 of hermeneutics, we're going to cover the book of Revelation. Uh, so Revelation is a book that is ignored by some of us in the church. We don't spend much time in the book of Revelation, or as we'll see later on as we go throughout the unit, some people seem to be obsessed with the book of Revelation. So we want to understand how we rightly understand the book of Revelation and how we read that part of God's word and apply it to our lives today as Christians. So uh, again, as with all of our units, we'll start with our textbook reading, pages 309 through 332 is your assigned reading for this unit. We'll have a PowerPoint video where I'll cover uh, some additional helps for you uh, that I think might benefit you as you read and study the book of Revelation and hopefully to encourage you to read and study the book of Revelation. We have a discussion board question which is going to deal specifically with an issue that your textbook brings up related to Re Revelation 12. And so again, uh, you'll post on that in the discussion board offering some of your thoughts on Revelation 12 and what your textbook has to say about that passage of Scripture. You do have an assignment that's due uh, before the close of this unit. You're going to turn in the theological principles from the passage that you chose for this semester. So now you've turned in step one, step two, and now you're turning in step three of your passage. So again, remember the things we talked about with theological principles. They should be stated as timeless truths that are applicable in any day, in any age. If you need a refresher on that, you can go back to the the, the part of your textbook and, and that unit on the interpretive journey that covers theological principles just to refresh yourself a little bit on what makes for a good theological principle. A quick note, but you'll also have to turn in the theological principles as a part of your final paper. So when you turn these in, you'll receive some feedback on your theological principles. Is there anything you missed? Any ways that you might want to rephrase, rephrase them? So take note of that feedback, incorporate that into your theological principles for when you turn them in for your final paper for the semester. And again, finally, as with all of our units, we'll close it out with our reading quiz based on your reading and the PowerPoint videos. Mm -hmm.